Hey guys, it's your favorite girl, Alicia Handles It, and I'm back with another video. So right here, guys, I'm just starting my first track. I used my pin, my stick pins, and stuck the first track in so I can know exactly what I wanted. Remember, guys, do not go through the whole band. Just go through the first thing. So your wig will be able to stretch once it's done. I would like to say welcome back to all the handlers and if you're new here, my name is Alicia Handles It and what I do on this channel is how-tos, unboxings, tutorials, anything that has to do with beauty. If you're willing to learn something, right here is the place to be. Just hit the subscribe button, join the squad, and we'll love on you over here. I did say in the community, if you keep up with my channel, that this would be like a very detailed cutting class at the end, but this week was very hectic. The video came all kind of patchy, guys. I apologize for that, but at the end of the day, I feel like what you want to get out of this video, it's in it. So just, if you're a visual learner, this is great for you. But um, if you're not, I will try to come up with a more a better way of giving you detailed videos because I am also a visual learner and when I am teaching I mostly get quiet and want my whoever my student or whoever it may be that's trying to learn something to basically watch basically like internship you know so I apologize if the video is not fully understandable to you but I feel like you'll still get something from it how to sew how to close and how to cut. So bear with me guys, it's coming up to a year. This month, the 29th, I posted my first video on my channel, so I feel like I'm still learning. I'm still new, I feel like. I'm just, I'm not even one years old yet, guys. I'm still like in the months, so yeah, so stick around. If you guys stick it out with me, I swear I'll get better for you. All right, so you guys just look, take what you get in from this video. The next video will be coming soon, and I promise I'll be getting better for you guys, okay?
Um, this will be cut into a mullet. This was so on earlier, as you can see in the video. This is the front of the unit. This is the back. Everything is fully so on. You guys see how nice and full it is. Move it. You can see anything. All right, so that's the sides. So we're going to start cutting. So get out your shears, get out your razor. Of course, there's a debate about cutting dry or wet. Now me, I couldn't cut this dry because nothing's blended. Hair is going to get everywhere. And what the water does is melt everything in together where you can see where everything blends and you can see everything. But that's a preference. As you're cutting, of course you're not gonna cut like as you're going along, wet the whole thing. As you're going along and you're cutting, it's gonna dry. It's gonna dry up, you know, a little bit. As the, as the cut is about to be finished, and that was, that was good. That wasn't a lot of, see this hair doesn't shed a lot. This is some good hair I got. I'll leave the information in the description below. And then when I get ready to cut, it won't be as wet, but everything will be blended. And this is how I learned in school. School that I went to was a thousand hours to complete you had to complete cutting class. So you see when you wet the hair, how it just comes together. It's a preference. I always move my hair in the motion of where, of how I want my style. In school, of course, you're taught to, you're taught to section the hair, but Going to hair salons through the years, along with going to school, I actually came up with my own technique. It's no right or wrong way as long as you know the basics. And I learned the basics and I watched different stylists and I came up with my own technique. So there's no right or wrong way to do anything. As long as what you're doing, you accomplish what you set out for. We're just gonna part that out. Straight off the head. Take up the rest. You have your guideline. Straight out, cut. You could always go in after and take out some of the, the weight and some of the um, bluntness. Straight out, guys. And we're gonna go and do the same thing on the other side after we're done with this side. And we definitely want this shorter, but it's good to just go slow. Now we want that a little bit shorter, so I'm just gonna go in again. That's my guideline down here. I'm not gonna cut into that.
guideline. Take a little bit out of what you just cut, bring it towards the rest. Line. And remember, we're gonna go in with the razor too, so we're gonna come on this side and do the same thing. And guys, if you're new here, my name is Alicia Handles It, and what I do on this channel is how-tos, tutorials, unboxings, reviews, anything that has to do with beauty, you're in the right place. If you're willing to learn something, just hit that subscribe button, join the squad. All right, so let's begin again. So we already went in on that side and put the layers in. Well, cut it down some, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna pick up where I sectioned it off at. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. You guys can probably hardly see it, but you guys can see it. Cut that in. We're gonna come in the middle. And you see how the hair is drying, guys, but it's still moist? That's the consistency you want with the hair. You don't need the hair soaking wet, but it needs to have some type of moisture. See, guys, where that is? Those are the extra pieces right there I'm cutting off. Still holding a piece. You can let some go if it's too heavy, because you already cut that. Straight out the head. can actually see the layers. I'm going to incorporate the back. So I'm going to pull the back towards the front and drag my shears like I usually do, guys. Be right back. And most people, they'll cut the whole thing blunt and then go in and, you know, do the wispy cut. But I do it in reverse. I, I do the wispy cut and then I'll go in and clean it up. You know, but... Either or, I do it both ways. If you're a seasoned cutter and you know what you're doing. Hopefully the mannequin head don't fly off the top up here. But I'm just going to freestyle it. My God, come on mannequin, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. All right, guys, so I'm just going to take from the back and let that guide me. I'm taking up from the back and let that be my guide.
I'll just come like this, put my fingers in, That way you can move the hair anywhere you want. So your long parts are not gonna be falling over your short parts and hiding your cut. And do a rough chop. That way it just blends. And we want to make sure that the cut is seen. So I still have to come over here and take some more out vertically. I know my style of cutting is kind of weird for some of you guys, but because I, I have been cutting for so long, I just, you know, do not whatever, but I see it in my head. You have to like see it in your head, guys. You have to picture the style before you cut it. Not too much though, not all the way at the bottom. Little by little. Now I take my raisin, just Okay guys, we're gonna write it down now. 
so we can see our style. Out, so, but I love this blonde. I'm so I'm about to wrap her up, get her under the dryer, and get her ready for styling. I am so sorry guys I wanted this video to be a little bit more detailed but this week was so hectic and busy I'm trying to incorporate clients I'm trying to finish orders so this video was kind of patchy I didn't really explain very detailed but there's plenty of content on my channel where you can go learn how to cut a mullet you can also go learn how to close up a wig close up a quick weave this is actually a sewing I don't believe I yeah, I have um, videos of how to close up a sewing wig, sewed in wig. So you guys just, just, you know, scan through my channel and see what you can find. Stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be an uh, unboxing of some things that I got and the styling of this unit. So you guys stick around, stay tuned. I love you all. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which won't be too long from this. Mwah!